We certainly have a couple of missions that we should be working through here. I haven't really spent much time in the last couple of episodes because we've been doing so much expansion. But welcome back, everybody, to Persia here in uh, the expanded family of mods. Expanded mod family, rather. Uh, we are currently just in the process of uh, getting over here to piece these guys out. And uh, we shall do that, though it looks like my subjects are going to do that. So I'm going to handle these guys. Um, now, this first mission up here at the very top, you can see here, King of Kings. We need to get a little bit of this. So that means we're going to have to start integrating our subjects here. And uh, I need to do that. Both of them are ready to get integrated. And I think I will just integrate both of them at the same damn time. Before we do that, we do have strong duchies. You got to make sure you get the strong duchies. And now we're going to do a couple of rerolls and hopefully get a uh, Diplo rep guy. That's what I would really like to do. But I do hope you guys have been enjoying the campaign. Welcome back. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. I do appreciate you, and I appreciate you taking the time out of your day to spend it here with me watching this video, right? Truce with Timmy is over. Yes, 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 of course, yes. I do need to get those goods produced. So, yeah, I think maybe instead of the corruption, I probably should have went with the goods produced, but it's not a big deal. Uh, this one, once we integrate our subjects here, we'll be able to, um, to get that, and we'll be able to integrate them before too long. I'm not really too worried about the Timurids. These guys I need to integrate sooner rather than later. I don't have to integrate them at any given time. Mm -hmm. I have to get over there or else they will convert that province. Looks like they actually might get it converted anyways. If we don't get there in time. Ugh. Tragic. Converts the province. Luckily it doesn't give it um, religious zeal. That's always... Oh! Wait, what? What in the world just happened? They just stack wipe my 11 army? What just happened? Hold on a minute. I am very confused as to what just happened right there. What is that? Did my army just really get shredded like that? Guys, what just happened? I am so confused. 11,000 men just gone like that. All right, that's like safe scum material right there, Paradox. What's that about? I don't know. Anyways, no big deal. We just need to piece these guys out. So I can probably piece them out just from having them stand on their capital. We just wait it out. No big deal. Next one. All right. Somebody had asked me to go through these. So I'm going to go ahead and take a look at these with you. So obviously we have the vanilla ones. But then we have the exploration core. Which uh, gives you some no maintenance on exploring leaders. That's cool. Glorious renaissance for prestige. Ruling dynasty. Which gives you re-election cost at four republics. Guns of Urban, Vanilla, Portuguese Colonial Growth, Vanilla, Danish Subject Loyalty, Vanilla. Venetian Trade is also Vanilla. Consulate of the Sea? Mm, I don't think that's Vanilla. Provincial Trade Power, that's pretty good. Castilian Inquisition, Missionary Strength versus Heathens, that is not Vanilla. Uh, whatever this one is, Movement Speed for Cusco, Cusco or Inca, very cool. Indistinct Claims is Delhi, Aggressive Expansion Impact, very good. Prester John is Ethiopia. Gives you some inflation reduction. That is very good, actually. 0.5. It feels a little too strong, in my opinion. Uh, ideal cost for Tuscan, which is for Florence. That's good. Hungarian defense. Very good. Malakan spices. Mm, I love me some Malakan spices. If you haven't already checked out that series, if you're looking for some Southeast Asia campaign, I did one as a, in Missions Expanded. It was a lot of fun. Good old Ming Ming. Uh, QQ. Or AQ, get Province War Score cost. Very cool. Timbuktu as Songhai gives you a tech cost. And then whatever this one is, VJ, leader cost. Very cool. As far as what we want to do, I guess we'll just go with adopt adaptive combat terrain. It's only going to be for a while. We're still waiting on the, um, whatchamacallit to spawn here. Ugh. All right. I do want his, uh, he's going to be taking over before too long, so... Getting his uh, education up is definitely going to be something we want to make sure we're doing. So I'm okay with burning a little bit of um, base tax if it means we can, you know, get that done. But now you'll see... Oh, we stack wipe them. Oh, oh, oh. I was going to say. Because this is Dryland. So now we'll have plus one in every Dryland's province. So I'm going to hold off. We are going to take those texts before we work through these idea groups. I have gotten a little bit of feedback about uh, my new idea groups and the, my, like how I'm working through them. So I do appreciate that a lot, actually. Um, I think what we're going to be doing is I'm going to make religious and humanist mutually exclusive, much like I have offensive and defensive mutually exclusive, and then I will buff both of them. Specifically, religious is going to get a big buff because humanist is already quite strong. So thank you for uh, that feedback. If you guys have... Oh my gosh, we stack wiped them. If you guys have feedback on these idea groups, um, you know, if you see something 
you know, feel free to stop and pause for a second. If you have any questions or things you'd like to maybe see and say, hey, you know, maybe it would be better if you moved this over here or something like that. I appreciate that feedback. But uh, yeah, so aside from that, these guys are now on low enthusiasm, so you can white piece them. And now we can full annex use guys. Now we can begin the annexation process on use guys. They'll be done in July of 11. So we'll be able to do that. I'm going to convert these guys first before I core it. Just for uh, unrest reduction. Uh, I don't care about the clergy. Crown land. I will sell the crown land and then yoink the crown land. As long as, you know, you you have around 60 by 16, 15 or so. That's all that really matters. Um, let's go ahead and rival AQ. And uh, we definitely need to let our um, let our stuff go down here. Our um, war exhaustion. So now what I need to do is just wait until these guys are roughly the same time. July. And these guys are May. Wow, they, how do they have similar dev? Must be some uh, some poo poo development over here. I don't want to gain corruption, so I will not. Annex use guys. It says June, right? July of 51. So we'll just hold on to that. Institution spread. Heck yeah. Sounds good. And uh, let's see here. Um, nah. Let's see here. June. And oh, hey, look, we can embrace institution. Uh, I'll take the base production. We will now annex them. It will be done on the same day. Still going to take a while, but uh, ideally we'd be able to uh, get a Diplo rep guy. <sighs> of course. Let's uh, get rid of the level one guys. I'm not going to do it too much. I really can't afford to. I need to be spending that money on buildings. Yeah. Okay. I guess we're just not going to get one then. Whatever. Um... Did I not just hire you? Did I fire him? <laughs> um, traitor cannot be Marshall. Yeah, fine. You can have a little bit of unrest. I don't particularly care. Chance of new air again. Okay, this is fine. I guess we're going to go with that. Um, we need to take these techs ASAP. I can embrace this institution. I probably should. The sooner I embrace it, the sooner I can maybe sell it. Eh, it's just a no guy though. Timmy, or I really need Otto to be my friend, man. If Otto wants to be my friend, then we can make that happen. They, they're they not allied to AQ. Our truce with AQ is almost... No. Okay, we have a long truce with them. But we're going to have to go to war with them if we want to get this King of Kings anyways. Now, I don't want to get this mission done until our um, our heir is in charge anyways. Because it buffs our our, uh, our leader. You can see here, they gain some uh, Monarch points. So, there's no rush for that. Obviously, we need to core this stuff all up. And let's get you guys over here. Borders are looking quite a bit better. And a couple things here and there, but you know, we will take what we can get. Obviously, we need to get more men in the field. <laughs> Baghdad, huh? Growing colonialism, you don't say. Now I have officially seen it all. And uh, yeah, as soon as I can embrace or um, uh, annex Timmy, we're going to have to do that as well, but... Like I said, there's no major rush. We have 100% religious unity. It will help with the unrest over here. Yeah, you can see separatism is fine. War exhaustion is going down. Our, our, we'll basically be, you know, in the green when it comes to that. Yeah, we'll be able to do this before too long. It's going to spread into like any... Eh, neither of these provinces have a whole lot of development. So I suppose... We now have a mission done, huh? Something with conversions, I assume, yeah? The Paradise Gardens. Hey, we got uh, 25 development in our capital and some prosperity. So, for the rest of the game, very good. National Unrest and Splendor. Monthly Splendor. That is going to be very useful, actually. The earlier you get it, the better it is, right? The more it scales, so that's awesome. Um, Yeah, that's fine. I'll keep the burger loyalty, plus a little bit of legitimacy is nice. The Persian court? Nah, not gonna happen. 20 provinces with cathedral, a temple, as well as a workshop. We'll get that eventually. And Isfahan has a project, great project at tier 3. Right, okay. We'll have to dig some time into that. That's obviously a ways off because it's gonna be very expensive, but we are now making very good money, which is awesome. These guys are, they're probably pretty close to being friendly, right? That war with Austria-Hungary, huh? 
no longer the emperor, so that's not going to do you any favors. They did get the personal union. Very good. Um, army force limit. What is this province there? Or some base production. I'll happily do some base production. Nice. It's even in our capital, which means it gets the uh, the 20% for the t invited minorities. So it's perfect. And then we can actually switch you right over here to uh, missionary strength. Or no, oh, I meant uh, trading, trader strength, but this is fine. <laughs> we will now embrace the institution here. I will take that tech, which will give us the 20% trade efficiency bonus. And let's see here. Can you guys buy this? They cannot. They are poor. They have loans. I'll sell it to you, Automan. Neutral attitude. If they were allied to us and I had better Diplo rep, they would consider it. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Yeah, look at that trade efficiency. Um, rifle ownership of Laristan? Where? Down here? Yeah, I don't think so. Timmy. Don't be don't be playing games with me, Timmy. We don't do that around here. So let's take a look at our Okay. These guys will get out helped by Belushistan. Yeah, we need to annex Belushistan, so I think that's what we're gonna do. We will uh, annex them in their entirety and then we'll annex Belushistan. I can just separate peace out Gujarat and Hassa. Numbers don't look too good, but it's mostly just because my army randomly got killed by those rebels and we just need to get a couple more. So we have cav bonuses, so 35%. So we should probably get at least two more cav and then more infantry. And uh, we'll, we'll handle it based on that. These guys, I just need to, you know, head under their capital and piece them out. Uh, money for great project cost or not? How about no? I will take both of these techs. That's going to keep us definitely ahead of the curve with everybody over here. Plus 20% production efficiency for being ahead of time. Very good. There you go. Our legitimacy is going to become like zero when our king dies. I also need to get my um, a fort line over here because <laughs> we don't have one. There we go. I will upgrade these boys. Better pips. And then, you know, we just have to play it safe and not get killed. We can also get a navy started up. We probably should, yeah. These guys are chilling over here, so we're good. So in this war, I'm going to full annex these guys, and I'm going to take everything I have claims on over here. So I'll full annex these guys except for that province. I'll probably have to separate piece them, though. Yeah, definitely. Definitely going to have to separate piece them. Yeah, that's fine. How much was that for the separate piece? 58 AE. Goodness gracious. Yeah, that's a little painful, but I think we'll be able to manage it. I feel pretty good about it. All right. Uh, let's have my subjects group up to me. All right. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of men over here. Okay. I think Timmy's trying to group up with me. All right, this is kind of annoying. This this um this event happens too much. Melva, change please. It's literally happening like every six months. <laughs> yeah, let's get out of here. If Timmy doesn't want to want to help, then I can't do much about it. We just need to win this siege, and then we can piece them out. Uh, and then we'll be able to head over here. I bet Gujarat's got a giant army. Yeah, they do. They're contributing the vast majority of the infantry. So, no big deal. Should have probably waited for war exhaustion to go down a bit more, because now we're going to have rebels, but it is what it is. Let's see here. Can I avoid this? The reassessment survey. How long? 14. Yeah. Not worth. I'll just give you a little bit of autonomy. If I don't have to fight rebels, then I won't, right? So, Shat is not converted oh it is converted no it's not worth doing that we could trade company it really well if it's been converted i will happily trade company it at the very least just this state right because that's the border yep right here so we can trade company everything over here that's pretty good uh and that also means we can build these guys here now, I doubt that means we're going to be able to get a merchant, of course. Oh, wow. It's actually really close. If we can upgrade Basra and get the uh, trade company investment, we'll be able to get an extra merchant, which would be really useful. All right, Timmy. Just randomly getting clapped over here. Probably going to get wiped. No, they didn't get wiped. Very good. All right. Those guys are now gone. So we can peace out the Hasa. I will annul their alliances. Just kidding. I don't need to. Um, hmm. I don't have claims on them, but I guess I can have them right... We can 
I always forget about we have peace treaties expanded, so we definitely need to do that. A trader who's a third off. Um 14 Diplo. Oh, it costs AE. Okay, we're not gonna do that. Um, how about you give up your claims? Transfer your trade power. Okay. Never mind. I just I would rather have money. And then we will use that money to build some trade buildings. Because uh that is part of this mission. Where is it at? Um where is it at? Right here, which is to have 10 provinces in our home trade node that have a trade building. So we'll be able to get that in no time. And uh, yeah, basically we're just going to have to chill, play a little defensive, kill them. Looks like the Ren uh, the Renaissance has spawned. Not the Renaissance, the uh, Reformation has spawned, rather. Oh, we got a Hussite guy. Oh, Hussite province. Jan Hus did know. That is a strange looking Austria. Looks like uh, Timmy just took... A, or auto just took a giant, giant chunk out of them. Yeah, it'd be nice if they would be friendly with me, but they are just really holding out. There's a lot of armies over here. We got to be careful. Might okay. We have a discipline advisor, which is good. The sooner we can get our money up, we can um, upgrade. Uh, what should we call it? What is that? The thing? This thing over here? The Baku Ateshka? That'll be really useful. So this is mountains, so I don't want to be doing that. Persian Mashriki, assimilation of the Vasit. Or Wasit. Very cool. Very, very cool. All right. So we definitely just need to like catch these guys out. I will happily do this. Desert. Oh, lots of golden arrows popping. Do I see a Nuremberg golden era? Legends. All right, that is mountains, so that is not intelligent for me. This is highlands, but they have no general. So that should be an easy clap, right? We have a three fire with infantry combat ability. Oh, baby, a triple. <laughs> I'll take the innovativeness. Always take the innovativeness. So the sooner we can stack up our innovativeness, the better. This is mountains, so we don't want to fight them there. Instead, they're going to be taking all that attrition. Fine by me. So now the goal is just going to be, oh my gosh, look how many men they're stacking up. That's crazy. It's mostly Gujarat. Like, it, it's literally like half. I take Gujarat out of the war and then they crumble. Uh, I don't really care about most of this army, of this provinces over here because it's, you know, it's good for trade, but it's not actually that important because we're not even steering the trade from here. So I'm, uh, I'm in no rush. Speaking of, build a marketplace over, oh, right. Um... Build that there. And I think it's actually, let's do it over here in Isfahan. I love a good story. And spend some money. Kerman, head into the desert. We just need to catch out as many of their stacks as possible. The more of their men that we kill, the better. And that is another stack wipe. All right. It's going well. Both teams playing ball, my man. Track these guys down over here. Our general is dad for literally no reason. Give me a general that is not absolute duty water, please. Paradox giveth and paradox taketh away. Diviet is preparing to attack Sipa. Those guys are just marching past this fort here on the mountains. Oh, they deleted it. Yeah, there is no fort there now. Sag. All right. These guys are in mountains, but again, no general. It looks like it is. Oh my gosh. That's a four cannon stack. Why? <laughs> Why would you do that? That's like a hundred ducats that they just lost right there. No, actually, it's over 100 because cannons are 30. So 30 times 4. Quick maths. They're heading on to this mountain fort here. This is their return province. So these guys are also about to get um, clap, clap, clapped. That is another stack wipe. So just all by now, Gujarat has lost 30,000 men, and I have lost 9 over half just to attrition. So that's pretty good. Let's see here. Ooh, construction cost. I didn't realize that. Cool. Now, I do want to work through this first. Day's Volt's going to be really useful. So, the sooner we can get that, the better. They do have ticking war score. We have not taken Bust yet. One of the best provinces in the game. Um, but yeah, now you can see the numbers since we just keep wiping out all of Kudrat's armies. Um, they, <laughs> they're not feeling too good. They're like, you know what? Maybe I don't... I don't really have a dog in this race. So, maybe I shouldn't be uh, attacking these guys. Hey, Gudrat. Hey, we've gained a core on Arbil? Where's that? Huh? Arbil. Oh, really? Is that an event? 
Very good. That means I can attack them for that in a couple of years. Oh, I could clap them too. That's dope, man. Heck yeah. Making this game a lot more enjoyable for me when I don't have to fabricate claims on everything. Or core things. Oh my gosh, Gujarat. <laughs> no, no, man. They really don't stand a chance. What is going on? 43,000 Indians have died. 6,000 men is what they have left. They had like 20-some last I looked. Pretty nuts. These guys are heading in. Mountain province. Oh, no. Anyways, let's uh, wipe them out. All right. Let's do a quick little shuffle or uh, carpet siege over here. I will happily take that. Hey, look at that. Our prestige is almost maxed out, and it's already and it's only 1,500. Free money. Who doesn't love free money? That is the best kind of money. Uh, production workshop, taxation, trade, probably good. And I'll save 200 to upgrade Basra once we're done with the war. Because it's uh, at least 10 development. Very good. Our air progress is going up. We have integrated both of our subjects, which is Vundava. We have no forts over there, so we're going to have to definitely do that. Get all these provinces converted as we are able to. Now, Gujarat is going to want out eventually. Base production in Calm. Sounds good to me. Oh, I just inherited a bunch of little armies running around as well. Right. What else we got here? These guys are just normal armies chilling. Get a two siege general on you. Looks like we're going to siege down Herat. These guys are going to occupy a couple of random provinces over here. I don't particularly care. Get you guys off my capital as well. How long? We still got plenty of time. Uh-huh. None of these apply to us, so I suppose... AE? Hey, that's pretty good. We've taken back Herat as well. Very good. Let's get over here and siege down their capital. With a uh, siege general, of course. That's nice inheriting their armies. Sadly, I can't convert the provinces now because they occupy all of it, but it is what it is. Gujarat is not feeling too good, Mr. Stark. They'll peace out in a couple of months here. Uh-huh. My education is finished for my heir. Very good. Uh, they gain a core on one of my provinces or not. I, I don't care. They can have the core. Or, I mean, the um, the province there. The uh, unrest. What is it? Autonomy. I know some of these words. Let's come on up here. Catch these guys. I don't even care if it's a minus two for me. They're going to get absolutely demolished. Just need to kill them all. Destroy them all. Yep, come on over here. Wipe that little army out. I don't even know who you are. But you're going to get gone, no doubt. No cap, as the kids say. And then uh, we will continue to convert provinces. Because we are very pious, indeed. Okay, good. Of course, they're not. Now they're on medium enthusiasm because reasons. I lost a battle somewhere. You guys are absolute sons of guns, man. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, this is fine. Let's get our armies grouped up over here. Definitely going to want to lay low for a little bit after this war. We're gonna we're about to take a lot of clay in this war, so it's not really a big deal. There we go. Get you guys over there. And uh, Gujarat wants out now. Sounds good. War score very heavily flipped into our favor. This army magically did not make it in time to join up with the rest of the army. It's fine. We're going to need to uh, do some do some um, reinforcement anyways. Hey. All right. Let's uh, siege this stuff back first off. And then we will occupy these guys and get their stuff sorted out. Crimea, huh? Damn, you guys are big. Ottoman already looking really good. Seems like it's 50-50 whether they take off or they crash and burn. Okay, very good. I got a couple of good comments about the uh, our ruling dynasty disapproval of the Timurids. <laughs> I respect it. I respect it. I do. Get a siege general on you. Get you guys over there. There we go. And then have these, these guys like split over here. We're obviously going to need to do a siege a fort down over here if we want to piece them out. Now, is there anybody else in this war that I care about? No, it's just the 2v1. Very reasonable. 
Now, this 11 stack is going to have to head over and handle these guys' armies so they don't siege me down. I'm getting very sick of them. Our Commandant is dad. Unfortunate. Um, well, I'd like to get another one. I'm curious, if, if you are watching, Lim, are there chances of, uh, like, higher chances of getting certain leaders over others? See, we get the plus one because it's in our same terrain as our capital. Same up here in Tehran. We're going to get a plus one as well. There you go. These guys are not able to even siege that province down, which is Vundva. Let's have you guys head over here. And uh, in order to take this, we're going to have to siege their capital down. Guaranteed. So, no worries there. I will take that. We're very close. Hey, 10% pro goods produced. I could yoink that province from them if I really wanted to. It's not necessary, but the call for pizza is going to be annoying because it's going to make our war exhaustion go up even more. But until I occupy a province over here, we're not going to be able to do anything. Sunni zealots have popped in the chat. Sadly, they're going to convert that province as well because we don't have a fort over there. We took their capital over here. And uh, they want me to get onto this fort over here. Occupied and besieged provinces will probably allow it to happen, yeah? Let's see here. Nope. They're going to make me sit on their fort, wait for their war exhaustion to go up a bit. All is well. Let's uh, convert that province back. Oh, it's a trade company. Oh, that's so annoying, actually. That is genuinely very annoying. <laughs> uh, whatever. Whatever. It is what it is. No big deal. Okay. So, yeah, because I doubt I'm going to be able to take everything. Not controlled by us or our allies. Yeah, okay. They're going to make me siege this fort down. Ugh. I am literally asleep right now. I don't even have a... I do have one. I don't have a cannon over there. No value cannon either. It's fine. The uh, war exhaustion is going to start really skyrocketing. Yeah, look at that, man. Call for pizza. The most corny mechanic in the game with no arguments. Call for pizza is very dumb. Okay, there we go. I will now also... Um, I could vassalize them. That wouldn't make much sense. Um, more reps. All your money. That's a decent chunk of money right there. I will take that. And then I will annex you guys. No coalition will form. Very good. Very, very good. Yeah. That is, that is good. Yeah. I'll core it all up. We will get a mission done over here for uh, marching against the tyrant. 15% trade efficiency and 20% trade power in Hormuz, as well as overlooking the Indus, which will give us excess oh, prestige, and then all excess prestige will be converted into each type of monarch, so we get 10 of each mana. Hey, that's pretty good. All right, lads. Well, I think that's a great place to call it for the episode. Quite a bit of growth. Now is going to be a little bit of uh, economic internal growth and a little bit of recovery from the war, because obviously uh, we've been kind of pushing it <laughs> in terms of our... Uh, you know, stability and all that stuff. But if you guys are enjoying, make sure you let me know, leave a like on the video, subscribe, ding the bell, join the Discord, the subreddit, the Twitter. They're all linked in the description below. Plenty of cool ways to get involved if you are interested. Uh, if you want to check out my second channel, Tuber, it's linked in the description below, as well as my Patreon, if you have it within your means and you want to support content you love. My Patreon really does float me. It's what allows me to do this full time. So couldn't do it without you guys. Shout out my patrons. Love you boys. But uh, that's all I got for you. This is Tweeshoot, and I will catch you guys later.